Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid, CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So today, finally, man, God damn it, man. We finally gonna give credit where credit is due. Matter of fact, let me put my hat back on before y'all start talking about my hairline in the comment section, you know what I mean? But anyway, man, I wanna do something that I don't see people do. And it's kinda like, you know, it baffles me. It's just so simplistic, man. We're gonna give credit where credit is due. We're gonna shout out other sneaker YouTubers. That's what we're gonna do today. We are going to break this all the way down and we're gonna talk about who has the best sneaker collection, man. It's not really too much of a competition. It's just giving people credit, man. That's all it is. The one thing that I hate on YouTube is that everybody treats this whole thing like a competition, man. They don't want to reach out to this person. They don't want to shout out this person. They don't want to do a collaboration with this person because I have X amount of subscribers. And if I do something with you, that's going to get you subscribers and you're going to be closer to getting more subscribers than me. So I'd rather just, you know, brush you off, not do a collaboration with you. I hate the whole competition aspect of YouTube. People just need to work together. Forget the subscribers, forget the views. If the content's gonna be dope, do something, man. Trust me, I'll reach out to a lot of these uh, shoe tubers or whatever, and they be kinda, you know, just bougie because they don't really wanna give their subscribers to me or they don't wanna help out the channel, but I'm just really be focused on the content. I know a lot of you guys have probably reached out to a lot of people, they don't wanna do it. I just hate that whole aspect of YouTube, man. Today. I'm giving credit where credit is due. We're gonna talk about the best sneaker collection and we're just gonna break this thing down. We're gonna go from one to 10. I'm not biased at all here, okay guys? You know, I ain't like, yo, CJ City, I'm CJ City. I got the best sneaker collection. I'm number one. Nobody see me, no. I'm, I'm a realist, dog. CJ City, he don't got the best sneaker collection. I got fire, but I don't got the best sneaker collection. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to break it down for you guys. You guys could share this video, reach out to the shoe tubers, leave those comments. Let's just get this conversation going, man. And uh, yeah, man, we're not gonna do the, the typical start from 10 all, give you built anticipation and go to number one. No, we're starting straight from number one, all right, guys? And this is a disclaimer. We're not talking about like DJ Khaled. We're not talking about like DJ Ski or, or anything like that, any celebrities. We're not talking about that. And we're also not talking about like Perfect Pair. We're not gonna be talking about, um, you know, uh, like Shoe Butter or something like that. We're gonna talk about people who upload content like at least one to two new videos every single day. People like, you know, Kais, you know, Scoop, Sneakerhead in the Bass, like people like that. That's who we're gonna talk about. We're gonna break this thing down. So number one, Drum roll, <laughs> number one, in my opinion, this is just CJ City, the best sneaker collection, number one has to go to my man, 2J Kicks, dog. Uh, the human race is really, really hard to find. What do you think your hands are worth right now? This is like 15 or 16. This is like another 14. I could literally, the whole video, just talk about this one shoe. Kanye Air Max 180. Come on, man. We got to give that number one slot to 2J Kicks. This dude owns Urban Necessity. Do you know how many sneakers he's able to get his hands on all the time? We see this man at SneakerCon dropping 50, dropping $100,000 on sneakers and stuff like that. I've seen his personal sneaker collection, his stash. This dude got human racers, NMDs, all type of crazy running shoes, exclusive samples. He has, you know, Tokyo 5s. He has all type of crazy stuff in his collection. So if you ask me, there's nobody on YouTube who's an active sneaker, you know, YouTuber, shoe tuber, uploading regular content that actually can see this man's collection. His collection is fire. Salute to 2J Kicks. Best sneaker collection on YouTube. Now, number two. This is the second best sneaker collection on YouTube, in my opinion. A lot of people are gonna hate about this, but like I said, CJ City's not biased. So, number two, you gotta go to my man, Lil Money Kicks, dog. These are the Air Jordan 13, signed by Michael Jordan. 
I don't know what he's doing out there in Dubai. I don't know what his parents is doing. Maybe they own Dubai. I don't know, man. But this kid seems like he has like an unlimited amount of money. This dude can buy whatever he wants to. Have you seen his sneaker collection? Have you seen his sneaker room? You could take all the sneakers out of his sneaker room and his sneaker room is better than my collection. Like this dude, he got some fire stuff. He got, you know, samples. He got PE sneakers. He obviously he's a kid. So, you know, kids like hype stuff, you know, he got all the Yeezys. He got all the hyped up stuff. It's cool. Like, you know, let him enjoy that, man. He has like signature shoes. Celebrities come through, you know, he just has a whole bunch of crazy stuff. He got like all the M&Ms and all that too. So money kicks definitely deserves that number two slot. Like I said, I'm not being biased here. This ain't about who has this uh, situation. You got this amount of money, so of course you got that. No, we just looking at sneakers. That's all we doing here. So money kicks comes in number two slot. Now, the number three spot. This is where it gets kind of interesting because uh, a lot of people might disagree with me, but that number three slot comes to a relatively new you know, uh, shoe tuber on the, on the scene. But this boy got some fire, man. Number three. Unbreakable kicks. We see you, brother. <laughs> DB ones, yeah. DB twos, DB threes, Jordan nine, Benz, Motorsport sixes, the call, call fours, Mirror up sevens, okay, two Ks, okay. we thirteens, black lasers. Now, the reason why I like Unbreakable Kicks, dog, is because he has a lot of those sneakers that came out during my era man back when you know i was in high school i didn't really have the money to afford those sneakers i'm talking about like the mural sevens i'm talking about the for the love of the game nines the wheat 13s like he has those type of classics dog and those are some of my favorite sneakers and but he also mixes it up with the you know he got the ovos you know he's gonna have all the 11s he has like a lot of new exclusive stuff like that so when it comes to his sneaker collection i feel like like if i had the bread that i wanted in life I would have his sneaker collection because I would go all the way back and I would get like a DS pair of the the uh, For the Love of the Game 9s or something like that. Like he has some crazy stuff in his sneaker collection. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. That number three spot definitely got to go to my man Unbreakable Kicks. I see you, man. Salute to you. Now, number four. We're going to talk about the number four slot. This guy, this why I feel like it's kind of controversial because you can actually boost this dude up. But uh, number four, come on, man. We got to go with my man Scoop 208, dog. Fragment ones. Dead stop. Do you know how much these are worth? Authentic. Do you know how much these go for? Huh, nigga? Nigga, they're just shoes. Now, Scoop 208. This is why I feel like he's, you know, number four. I haven't seen him do like an entire sneaker collection, so I don't really know what's left in his inventory. I know this dude has everything. Like, you know, any shoe that you could ever think of, he probably reviewed it on his channel. I don't know if he holds on to his sneakers. I don't know if he sells his sneakers to get better sneakers. I don't know if he does sneaker trades. I don't really know what he has in his inventory. If, if Scoop was to drop like an entire sneaker collection video today, he probably would be deserving of that number three spot because I'm telling you, man, this dude has all the Supreme phone posits and then he gets like three. Like, did you see his video when those wing 12s came out? This man had like 12 wing 12s. Like, this dude was crazy, fam. So I know Scoop has everything. Salute to Scoop. But as far as like a current sneaker collection, I don't really know what he has left in his inventory, man. But anyway, Scoop, we see you, bro. We've been seeing you since forever, man. This is funny because... I grew up on Scoop and I grew up on another dude. It's like Jay something. I don't remember. He's like a light skinned dude, man. I used to watch him. He used to compare all the fake shoes and all that. And Scoop used to do that. So Scoop's an OG in the game. We know he has everything. So number four spot, debatable, possibly number three, but I'm putting him at number four. So that number five slot, I got all my notes right here. We're going to talk about the number five spot. Oh, man. This dude right here. Whew. Number five. C. J, nah, not CJ City. CJ, so cool, man. Oh, roll clip. I have a lot of OVO shoes in here. We just have to freaking find them all. The doing back at eights. I got these from Urban Necessities, Cherry Twelves, guys. When the um original cherries came out, the flu games that came out with them. Bruh, CJ, so cool. Have you seen this man sneaker collection? I love it. It's it's a perfect mixture between like that vintage, like those old school sneakers with the new school sneakers. Like I said, I like Unbreakable Kicks. 
But I feel like CJ's so cool, his collection is like what Unbreakable Kicks collection would be if he had CJ So Cool's money. Like, it's me too. If I had CJ So Cool's money, that's what my collection would look like. He goes back, he gets the classics, man. This dude, Pure Money 3's looking dead stock. Black History Month 3's looking dead stock. The, the All Burgundy Wine 5's looking dead stock. I think he got like the, the Neutral Gray 13's. This dude got the entire candy pack. You know, twos. I got the, the candy pack, just, just the red ones. This dude got the yellow ones and the green ones. Like, looking DS. Like, he goes back and he gets the classics, dog. And then, of course, you know, he just casually wears, you know, a lot of the new stuff that's out or whatever. But then he also has a lot of designer shoes and stuff like that, too. So, CJ So Cool is definitely holding down that number five slot. Number six slot, a person that a lot of people don't like. They hate on this dude. You know, I feel like it's pretty much hatred when, when they talk about this dude. Either you rock with him or you don't. Don't say nothing about him if you don't like him. But the fact the, 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 the flack that this man gets is crazy. Well, this kid gets. <laughs> but number six, hold down that six five. I see you, boy. My man, B Sneaks. All right, say what you want about B Sneaks, right? Oh, his parents gives him money, his parents buys all the sneakers. Like I said, I'm just looking at the sneaker. That's all I'm doing. I'm not judging circumstances. I'm talking about the sneakers that you possess, the sneakers you have in your collection. And on top of that, I don't understand why people hate on this dude because his parents buy him sneakers, dog. Like, that's what we're supposed to do in life. I don't know if you have children, but you want to be successful. You want to provide your children with whatever they want. Like, why is he being knocked? for the success and the hard work that his parents, you know, put in. That's just crazy to me, man. Look at his sneakers, you know, just admire his sneaker collection and that's what I'm doing. The man has a lot of stuff. He, he's starting to get into those samples and those like exclusive like stuff. He had like some Kyrie Irvins that was like a sample for a, a woman's basketball team or something like, he has crazy samples. Obviously he has all the Yeezys, he has all the hyped up sneakers, all the Supreme faux posits, all the Supreme everything. You know, the kid really has some dope sneakers and then he has the Jordans that I actually like. A lot of Jordan 1s, like the Oregon 5s, Oregon 4s, Oregon 3s, like he has some dope, dope stuff. So he's definitely deserving of that number six slot. So that number seven slot, we're gonna have to go ahead and break this thing down and give it it's kind of close here. A lot of people don't really talk about his sneaker collection, but it's fire, man. Hess Kicks, bro. What's going on, guys? DJ Hess, AKA Hess Kicks here, and wanted to bring you guys into my house and show you guys my entire sneaker collection video. Hess Kicks, man, he's, he's, he just, I don't know him personally, but he just seemed like a real chill, real humble type of dude. So that's probably why his sneaker collection doesn't get mentioned among a lot of these hyped up sneaker collections. And, uh, but this dude has some fire sneakers, dog. I, I'm telling you, and he's just so humble. He's just so modest. Like, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll walk us through that big old house he got, take us into the sneaker room. Like, you know, oh man, we got the Tokyo Fives right here. I got it from a good friend of mine. Gave it to me for a really good deal. Over here, we got all the dorm backers, you know. I was able to get these in Portland on Ogden. Like, this dude's just mad humble with it. And he just modest. And he ain't like, you know, those people that be showboating, like, you know, low key though. Like, you know, yeah, it just got me a little Ferrari, you know. That's something light. Got the little Lexus over there. Got the, you know, 8,000 square feet mansion. You know, something light. Like, nah, he ain't like one of those type of people, man. Who's flossing, but not. Nah, he's really just a humble dude. But he has a lot of dope sneakers. And then he just got doubles and sometimes triples. And sometimes, like, I see his sneaker collection and he'll bypass, like, dope stuff. And he won't even show that. And he'll just go on to something else. Like, Watch his sneaker collection. I'm telling you, his sneaker collection is definitely worthy. Now, number seven. This is where things, you know, all of this stuff is interchangeable, right? Now that we're getting into this, you can take number seven and put him at number eight or number eight at number seven or number nine and number seven. Like, all this is interchangeable, but this is just for me. So, number seven slot, we got to get at to my man, Sneaker Life, bro. Roll clip. <laughs> Like Sneaker Life's collection, I've seen his whole sneaker collection. Dope, salute, 
fire mixture, man. He has like a lot of Jordan 1s, Jordan 2s. He takes it back. Like I said, I think he even got the for the love of the game 9s. Takes it all the way back to some classic stuff, you know. But he also has all the Yeezys, of course. He gets a lot of sneakers early. I don't really know what he keeps, what he sells, or whatever the case is. Because I'm, I'm kind of like that, too. You know, but uh, uh, he has like undefeated. He just got the undefeated Kobe's. Like, he really has some dope sneakers. That would be fire to just see him do like an updated sneaker collection because I know he got a lot of dope stuff. Salute to my man Sneaker Life. He definitely deserves that number seven slot. So now let's talk about it. Number eight. Wait, hold on, man. I, I know I'm probably mixing these numbers up, man. I don't think I'm on number eight right now. I think I'm on number nine. And if I call it number, if I did a repetitive number, you guys get the count, man. I don't got the count. I'm just freestyling this whole thing right now. I believe we're actually on number nine, right? So Sneaker Life was number eight. I don't know, but we're on number nine, okay? Number nine right now, the ninth slot got to go to, you know, my man Damn D, dog. Wow, I had to double up shouting on the Royals, but hold on, these are the satins. Double up shouting. Wow, your boy got the gold Supremes, the Maroons. Double up shouting on the blue mirrors, man. Damn, my man Damn D, he's, uh, he's he got some dope stuff. He kind of reminds me of me a little bit. He mixes up a lot of the brands. He don't fall for the hype. He don't get no hyped up sneakers. He call himself, you know, Mr. Stills. I don't know, man. I might have to battle you for that title, dog. I be getting stills, boy. But it, like I say, he's just like me. I get stills. I pride myself on hunting, finding stills. He gets a lot of those stills as well. He, like I said, he mixes up the brand. He doesn't go get Yeezys and hyped up sneakers. Like he kind of reminds me of myself with that sneaker collection. And uh, he actually has like a lot of the same sneakers that I have. But the reason why I feel like he's ahead of me because he has a lot of sneakers that I don't have, man. This dude got like the satin royal ones, the, the satin breads. He'll probably get those satin shattered backboards if those things come out. Like he has the shattered backboards. I don't have the shattered backboards. Like he has like a lot of sneakers that just kind of like, eh, like give him an edge over my collection if you ask me, man. So, but his sneaker collection is definitely fire. And the crazy thing about it is he hasn't even done an entire sneaker collection yet. Like I'm just basing this off of stuff that I've seen on Scoop's channel. So imagine when he does his entire sneaker collection video, it's probably gonna be fire, dog. So number nine had to go to my man, Damn D. Now number 10, oh, here we go. This is gonna be controversial, right? Cause we still got so many people that's out there. We got my man, you know, Cash Nasty. We could choose from him. We got my man, the real Ray Ray 20. We got him still lingering out there. You know, we got, uh, who else is left out there? Tony D2 Wild. We got Bullet RC. We got Mike Rich. We got T War. We got so many people to choose from. But the person that I'm gonna have to go with is another sleeper. Just like Hess Kicks, right? Sleeper collection right here. Number 10, the last final spot. I feel like he deserves this. My man, Air Trafficking, dog. Of course, we got the Jeter one. This is the bread one from 2013. Beach just done two Jordan 5 Raging Bulls. Definitely a nice sneaker. I'm just worried about getting it dirty. That's right, Air Trafficking. Not sure how many people know about his sneaker collection. I've seen him do it on Scoop's channel, and then he just did another one on his channel. This guy, he got some fire sneakers. I'm telling you, man, you gotta watch his sneaker collection video, Air Trafficking. He got a lot of sneakers that I have as well. But like I said, same thing with Damn D. Like a lot of my favorite sneakers that I'm like, dang, I wish I had that. He has those, he owns them. So that's why I'm giving him the edge over my collection, dog. And you know, the, the, the Derek Jeter ones, you know, shattered backboards. He has like a fire sneaker that I have. A lot of people sleep on. You know, I got them over here, the Powder Blue Threes. Those is fire, man. A lot of people sleep on those. He got stuff like that. You know, he he, he takes it back to the classics, dog. He still got, you know, Bread 1s, Bread 11s, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. He switches up the brands. He got a lot of phone pauses, couple of Yeezys and, and things of that nature. Check out his sneaker collection. I feel like he's deserving of the number 10th slot. Now, like I said, that's controversial, right? Because you still got Bullet RC, you got Tony D2 Wild, you got a lot of these people, I feel like they're honorable mentions. The reason why I didn't really include them is because I haven't seen their sneaker collection in, in years. Like, I don't know what Tony D2 Wild still owns. I don't know what Bullet RC still owns. I see they get a lot of sneakers to review, but guess what, guys? I'm in the sneaker game, I'm a shoe tuber. 
I get a lot of shoes to review as well, but guess what I do with those shoes? Huh, I sell them things, man. I don't own every sneaker that I review, honestly. I'll, I, I, well, I get a lot of shoes for free. They get a lot of shoes for free as well. I'm pretty sure I don't pay for all of my sneakers. The ones I get for free, I'll do a review. I'll give my honest opinion. That's why I'm allowed to say negative stuff about the shoe because you know, like these brand, I don't have no brand deals or nothing. So I get the shoe, I do the review. If I don't like the shoe, I'll be honest with you, tell you I don't like it. I'll go straight to good company. If you guys know good company out here, I'll go straight to good company and I'll sell them things. And I don't sell them for no crazy prices either. Like I get rid of a lot of my sneakers. So, you know, point being, I don't know if they do that. I don't know if they, you know, do reviews and then just go sell their sneakers. I would love for them to do an actual sneaker collection video so I could see what they have. Uh, the real Ray Ray, I saw his sneaker collection. He got some dope stuff, but he has a lot of stuff that I'm just not a fan of, man. But he has some dope stuff, but he has majority of, well, not majority, but he has a lot of stuff just not a fan of. Um, my man, uh, what's his name? The dude get like all the exclusive stuff, like Jock Slade or something like that. This kid right here, boy, he hasn't done a sneaker collection. That's why he's not on the list. If he was to do one, he probably would be way up on the list. But I just don't know what he has. I don't know if he keeps the sneakers, if he sells them. I don't know, man. So that's the reason why some of these people aren't on here. Shout out to my man T Ward. Shout out to, uh, you know, Mike Rich. A lot of people, Pat is dope. I watch a lot of you guys, man. You know, like I said, a lot of sneaker YouTubers, they don't really want to admit that they watch people, that they're fans of people. I don't even understand the whole game. That's just some bougie stuff that I'm not on, you know? So, you know, that's really my list, one through 10. Drop your list, leave those comments, tell me if you agree with me or if you got a different list. Or like I said, maybe you got interchangeable you know, names. Maybe you got the same list, just people at different slots. Leave those comments down below. Who do you feel has the best sneaker collection on YouTube? Drop those comments down below. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Got a lot more content coming soon. I appreciate all the love, but until next time, I'm signing off. Peace.